London is made up of multiple cultures, but not a lot of London's population is made up of people with a Japanese background. But despite this fact, Japanese culture is making a frequent appearance in and around the city. The Oriental Food and Gift is an Asian market here in London. Although it is predominantly Korean, many items sold are also from Japan. But this is only a small example of Japanese culture in London. Go Club, origami, as well as Japanese food are all right here in the city if you know where to look. It is even possible to buy the popular bonsai tree for $11 at Walmart. One of the most popular forms of Japanese pop culture, and the easiest to find here in London, is anime. People in search of these Japanese cartoons can easily find small selections of DVDs in their local malls. But for those hardcore anime fans who are interested in finding other items, such as comics, dolls, costumes, and other paraphernalia, there is one specialty shop on Dundas East, just outside the city's downtown core. Neo Tokyo is the only all-anime store in London. Rob Chamberlain, the owner of Neo Tokyo, says that the store's clientele comes in a wide variety. Uh, the majority of them are the ones you would think of, uh, high school, college students. Um, we do have a lot of people that are a little, little bit uh, older than that coming out into uh, um, full-time jobs and that sort of thing. Uh, then that's the majority of them, but the minority of them uh, are all over the place. Uh, engineers, professors, factory guys, just anybody and everybody uh, that has just sort of found this somehow through a, through a friend or through finding it on the internet or whatever um, and just sort of gravitated to it. If you're looking for a taste of Japan, then along with all the fun fan items at Neo Tokyo, the store also offers a range of popular Japanese snacks. Um, the snacks are quite interesting in that there seems to be an overriding principle of you must not ever get dirty eating them. There's always a means of eating them either through packaging or the construction of the, uh, the thing itself where you are uh, able to eat it without becoming a, a horrible mess of chocolate or, or whatever. Um, the Pocky is a good example. It's designed to be eaten, which is more or less the equivalent of a, of a chocolate bar for us, um, to be eaten on the stick without actually touching the chocolate at any point uh, except when you're eating it. So they'll have uh, uh, like a bread stick um, that's dipped in chocolate and frequently with other things. This one has uh, peanuts on it, for example, to give you sort of a almost a peanut butter cup kind of a, a flavor. The ramen is sort of halfway between a, a beverage and, a, and an activity. Uh, it's, a, it's a glass bottle with a, it's been pressurized with a glass bead in it uh, in the neck so that the only way to open it is by forcing the bead down into the neck. Uh, and then when you drink it, you have to drink it in the proper way, otherwise the bead rolls back up and blocks the opening and you can't drink anymore um, until you try again from another angle or that sort of thing. Um, so there's all sorts of instructions on how to open it and how not to use it because everyone wants to get the bead out for some reason. It becomes a, an immediate obsession. Uh, and there's all sorts of instructions on how it's dangerous to try and do that and what you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to try and smash it or set it on fire or do anything like that to try and get the bead out. And yet constantly I have people coming in saying, I got it out, I did this, and it says, you know, not to do that, whatever thing they did. While anime seems to be a fairly expensive hobby, there are other ways to have some fun with Japanese culture, and all you need is some paper. Origami is the Japanese art of paper folding. Although the process is long and takes a lot of concentration, it is a fairly enjoyable activity for young and old. Andrea Tonkovic, a 17-year-old high school student, recently took up learning origami, along with a few friends. She says that the continuous folding seems to affect people in different ways. It keeps me calm. I I do it. It, cal it calms me down when I'm having stress, and plus it's fun on top of it. But I've shown it to other people, my, like my grandmother, and she d says it actually helps with her arthritis. Whether you're interested in the food, the art, the language, or the pop culture of Japan, there are many venues throughout London that will help you experience them all. From Stellar News, I'm Molly Grante.